Next is some Wade and Grohl fine. The subject is Conan versus Khan. Next time you have Billy on the show and he has no wrestling news, don't record a wrestling segment. The Wrestle Not Mania 39 segment you guys recorded with him was just a mid-40s mark rambling for nearly 50 minutes. And then to make it even worse, even when Conan came back from his phone call, Billy repeated the entire rant all over again. Billy is such a bad <laughs> podcaster, he doesn't know that the show is being recorded for the audience, not the people on the show. Just stick to K100 Sports from now on because you guys letting Billy think he's some type of wrestling expert is killing the show. And he went right into Mark could do that. Question, though. Conan, I recently seen this article. Just to make it better, because every time somebody writes this in, bro, our numbers are not – our numbers are going up, not down. Okay? So everything you guys t- say – you know the funny thing is what I used to t- say people? Like when, when all these Mark podcasters and dirt sheet guys and everything say, this guy's got go away heat. Okay? But you never go away. <laughs> so who are you speaking for? You know, like, mm-hmm. like with the go away. So you people like listen to our comment we had on YouTube with the with Billy this week. We we argue with them and you probably liked it because we uh it looks like we're gonna be right because Cody was over huge again on Monday. So um question though, Conan, I recently seen this article online about heat between AAA and AEW. I was wondering if maybe you could update us in the heat, maybe fill in the backstory that caused the problems. Um and the article is says between AAA and, and AEW could search for upcoming Hijo del Vikingo opponent. According to the WrestleMania, uh, uh, what big name will face Hijo Vikingo for the AAA Mega Talent in 2023? The plan may be for one of AEW's top stars. It matters to smooth out from where they currently uh, sit. According to the Observer, AAA's hope for one of the AAA shows this year is to have Vikingo face either uh, Kenny Omega or recent free agent Kota Ibushi. However, AAA may have to work to do in securing at least Omega in terms of reestablishing a strong relationship with Tony Khan following what went down with FTR and Acapulco. There, FTR dropped eight AAA tag team titles at Dragon Lee and Drelistico at December's Night of Champions. In spite of Tony Khan being made aware in advance that Lee had agreed to a deal with eight with WWE. It is believed that Khan may have been under the impression at some point that it'd be AW's own rush, Roosh tagging with Drelistico to beat FTR for the title change instead. But AAA UZ use Lee in that spot as a favorite of WWE, in spite of whether or not it made sense to have a champion that minutes later would vacate the championship with his exit, with WWE desiring to stick it to AEW and how things played out. Triple A Booker Conan did go to Orlando at the end of January, hoping to improve the situation between both promotions and deal with any repercussions. How that went so far is anyone's guess. Hmm. You got a comment on that? Did we yeah, talk so about the, this on the show? Go ahead. I'm not there. I don't think so. No. Oh, no, you spoke with me about it. We haven't yeah. talked about this yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. You want to talk about it? Well, I can. This is what I can say. Okay. Um, so basically, the thing was is that uh, WWE reached out to AAA, not to me, to AAA um, and my boss. And I guess they wanted to film something with uh, Dragon Lee, who had just been signed to NXT or was going to sign to NXT after the match. So all, So basically, what happened was is that. Um, originally, Dragon Lee wasn't going to be in that match. It was going to be Rush, who's his brother, Rush. And so when I asked Rush to take his place, he just said, hey, with all due respect, that's my brother. But he did his history with Drelistico. That's another brother. They're three brothers. Okay. He said he did oh, his history. Rush, Drelistico, and Dragon, and Dragon Lee were all brothers. Right. So he said he did his history with Drelistico, and I don't I want to just be handed a title you know, I want to earn it and I want to win it. And I said, all right, so we'll keep Dragon Lee in there. And so um, I think... Did you to- think this would be a big deal when, no, when that decision No, or not, right. we wouldn't have done it. Yeah. Right. So there was no malice of forethought. But I can see Tony in Tony's mind. He's probably paranoid of, because he has got an unrational hate for WWE, obviously, because they've been tampering with his talent. Um, you know, and he, you, you know, he does not like them. You know, right. so he thought, how is it possible my business partner is working with them? But my whole thing was, OK, well, FTR wasn't in the ring when it happened, you know, mm-hmm. and then he was like, oh, well, you know, but when Dragon Lee was wearing the belt, FTR's name was on it or something like that. I'm like, who even notices that, you know, but I I can see where he felt he was being blindsided because we didn't tell him ahead of time. But if we thought it was a big deal, we would have told him we didn't think it was a big deal because he didn't say he was with WWE till after the match. You know right. what I'm saying? So he got on the mic and all he said was, I want to thank AAA for helping me. I want to thank the fans. And I just signed with WWE, you know? Right. I guess for Tony, that was I, like, and, yeah. And pl- I'll be honest, bro. Yeah. And like, like you telling me that story, I'm like, okay, how does this affect, like where, 
how is this going to negatively affect AEW? And like, because and I like, think in their mind, oh, they nobody, lost to somebody from WWE. Yeah, nobody beat, can, who who cares? Nobody talent. cares about that crap. I mean, bro, you got these guys. He has his talent working indie shows all over the place. Right. You know, like like against non-contracted talent. I mean, Plus, like, FTR cares? is already not appearing for the next few months, and it's not like if they did, the commentators would say, "Hey, do you know FTR lost to Dragon Lee last week?" Like right. they'll never, I mean, they'll like never this, mention it. I, never I don't know if this is Tony. You know. I don't know if this is Tony tripping or somebody getting in his ear and go, oh, "Can you believe Conan again? He got, buries the show and then Maybe. he does this." And then he's like, yeah, you're right. You know, he's not a good partner. But I like Tony. I always have liked Tony. 